Hexclad can cook seafood perfectly, even scallops. Watch carefully. Now the secret in this sear is to make sure you get everything ready first before you cook the scallops. From a chef's point of view, it's the sear. That's the magical moment. Scallops go in last. They only take 90 seconds to cook. So I'm gonna start off with a, an amazing sort of mushroom garnish. Take these beautiful mushrooms. Never slice them too thin. When you slice them too thin, it's hard to get any form of texture on that mushroom. Now, start off with a touch of oil. Just a hint, because I'm gonna flavor this thing up with a little touch of a light, dry, cured, crispy pancetta. Mushrooms in. Pancetta in, get that really nice and crispy. And to toss, push away and flick back. Push away, flick back. And the more confident you become, the higher it goes for the volume in the pan. Now, once we've rendered all that fat down out of that pancetta, evenly spread that across the pan. And now, get your mushrooms in. And the secret behind these mushrooms is making sure we take that water out. Again, I've got the heat in my pan. I can turn the gas down now. The flavor coming out of that pancetta, bleeding into those mushrooms, but the secret is to make sure we take the water out of those mushrooms. Drop a nice little touch of cracked fresh pepper. And then with the lighter mushrooms, the little enoki mushrooms, just take off the base and just sprinkle them. You don't need to chop these. Now, let that sit there and roast. Take a little tiny slice of butter and put that in there. It starts to get everything turning almost like a nut brown flavor. If I started off with the butter, the butter will burn. I had a little touch of oil, better depending on the fat from the bacon. And now, look at that. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna take a little touch of shallot. Just a hint. Part of it's gonna be for the sauce, and the other part is gonna be for the mushrooms. Half of that goes into those mushrooms. To start the sauce with the scallops, touch of olive oil. Schlots go in and get them caramelized. Beautifully done. Turn up the gas. We want the heat in there now. Now look at those mushrooms. Look at the color of that. It's so beautiful. Caramelize those shallots. Nicely done. A little hint of butter in there. A little season on those shallots. Once those shallots have started to melt and caramelize, it's a cream sauce, we don't put much color on those shallots, really important. A little touch of apple brandy, turn up the gas, and we'll flambe and burn that off. A light flambe, really important with a sauce like this, it's so delicate. Burn off that alcohol, let that evaporate, and it intensifies the sweetness of the base of that beautiful sauce. Now, mushrooms, give them a nice toss. Look at the color on those mushrooms. Once the alcohol's burned off, we've got that nice caramelized sweet flavor. A couple of tablespoons of fish stock. I'm using scallops, so I want a nice, light cream sauce. Turn up the gas, bring that to the boil, and then from there, literally, two tablespoons of cream. Don't put it in until it's boiling, okay? We'll reduce that down by half, and then I'm gonna finish that with a little touch of creme fraiche at the end. Now, mushrooms done, beautifully. Bacon caramelized, shallots, nice and sweet. I've got some baby spinach here, okay? You can put it in a hole, but I just like to slice the spinach. This gives a certain amount of freshness to the dish and just lifts up that rich, beautiful flavor from the forest, especially with those mushrooms. Now, spinach goes in and just roll that through. And what will happen now, that spinach will wilt across those mushrooms and bacon. As always, heat's in the pan, gas off, and just let that sit there and beautifully wilt across the mushrooms and the bacon. Sauce has come up to the boil, as you can see, and now I'm gonna go in for a little touch of creme fraiche. Creme fraiche in. Now, as that spinach sits there and wilts, a tablespoon of apple cider, and that gives that nice little acidic finish to the bacon, the mushrooms, a little touch of sweetness in there. I've got these beautiful little wild Thyme flowers. All I'm gonna do is just pick the thyme buds and just drop them in, it's ready to go. Now for the magic. Nice hot pan, up to temperature already, lightly seasoned, over. Seasoned from a height so it spreads across the face of the scallop. We'll touch a pepper, olive oil goes in. Again, swell that round, 
just starting to smoke. Scallops in, I'm gonna go to 12 o'clock first. Set it in there, there's that noise. You can't buy that noise, I promise you. That is all in the pan. Now, I know which side to turn first. Now that I've got them in there, season on that side. Salt and pepper, okay. High temp, 90 seconds, 45 seconds each side. Look, flick it over. Look at the seal on that scallop. Flick that over, flick that over. You can see why I've got the wide part on top. And again, now, beautiful sear. I've got the heat of the pan, the gas goes off. Now my butter goes in. I then roll that butter around. I cook the back of the scallop. I know which one went in first. And more importantly, look at the sear on those scallops. Manipulate the pan so it cooks down. The gas is completely off. And then finally, slice your lemon, and then just drop a little touch of magic lemon juice on top of the scallop. Beautifully done. And now for the dressing. This is a very simply executed dish, but what I do want is the freshness to shine. Got my spinach, my mushroom, my bacon. And quite particularly when it comes to putting scallops on the plate, I go round of the scallop to the round of the plate. You can see why, look how plump they are. With that amazing high temp sear, I've kept the retention in my scallops. And then finally, I'll take the big juicy one to sit as a beautiful crown on top. Now with the sauce, all I'm gonna do is just sit that in between the scallops. Then that's your job to sort of medley. Take a slice, dip in, dip out. And there we have a beautiful pan seared, stunning scallop sat with some beautiful filled mushrooms and a wonderful apple brandy sauce. Thanks to Hexlet.